Well, we just got finished doing this concrete driveway, and I helped these other masons do it. Personally, I don't take concrete driveways in northeastern Pennsylvania, but it's on an incline, and we're going to show you how we did it, and then I'm going to talk about it at the end. Now, we're going to pour a concrete driveway, and they wanted my opinion. And we already did the sidewalks, which is fine. That's not a big deal on that side. And we did the sidewalks on this side. But they want a concrete driveway. Is what's your opinion? Told them in northeastern Pennsylvania, get blacktop. Because all the salt and everything's going to kill it. And in 10 years, you could go over to blacktop and you'd be done. But they don't want it. So, because uh, he's a neighbor, I'm helping him. It's not my job. But this house was built a year ago, and this is all rock underneath here. I watched a guy come and put rock down. It settled for a year, so I'm not worried about it. But the first thing I'm going to do is establish a line from there down to the road on this side. And then we're going to go back and establish a line from there down to the bottom on this side. I'm going to line it right up with the house. This is where the form's going to go. Right there. I'm going to put a stake right here. Got that line established. Now I'm going to establish this line. Digging out the driveway. Well, we got our string going from here to there. We're taking all this out of here. It's all high. That's it. We got it all dug out, ready to form it. So we're forming it up. I'm using this key lock or screech key as you want it. And we're going to go right up the middle. We're following this line right here, right up the middle. As we get this little thing, put it in. Hold it with the pliers because it wants to twist that way. Right down the middle. You still get these. I want to get them down even with the line. Grip pliers and right like that. And then we got it lined up here. All we do is put it on right there like that. Got these little splicers go up underneath that holds them together now I got this all in my straight line now we're gonna mix some cement and put it underneath we have this even with the ground there we're gonna throw some cement underneath it because that's the only thing gonna keep that from moving I never seen anything else do it. You kind of build it up, and then when you're pouring concrete, it's not going to move on you. See how he did it going down? Well, today we're going to pour this concrete driveway, and there's about four or five different masons involved, and everyone has a different opinion on how to do it. I wanted to put the key lock going all the way up, and all the way this way, then screed it, and then float it. The other mason says something different. 
doesn't matter whether you broom finish it or float it. I just like to put in the cut marks. I told these guys they're pouring it the wrong way. They should have poured the top first. It's all going to run down this hill, and that's all I have to say about that. The way we're going to do this is we're going to pour it, we're going to broom it, and then we're going to cut it with the saw. I've been pouring concrete for 70 years. You hippies don't know what the hell you're doing here. I don't care which way they pour it, as long as they buy a used car or truck from Honest Mike's Auto Sales. There you go. What I'm doing is floating it because the one guy says he's gonna broom it. But we don't trust that system. So we decided to float it. Now this is Pennsylvania. They float at this side, they float at that side. They wanted to uh, broom finish it, but I'm still not a fan of that, and I'll explain that at the end. That's why he did the sides go way up, so I could put this board up. So we full finished it. And as you can see, we got the board, took it all the way down and full finished it. And last night we came here and we cut this, because it was so big, 40 feet, I was afraid that it might crack. Now we're gonna cut it up in pieces and one down the middle. So we're doing this the new school way. But we're dividing this up, I'm doing it like every 72 inches, and we're going to cut it with the saw. Getting ready to pour part two. I put the plastic down here so I don't ruin this section of concrete. Anywhere over the sidewalk I got some of that seal seal. You see it on the corners. I don't want the concrete touching anything. I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. That was not my job. It was the neighbor's job, and we got a bunch of masons to just put the concrete in. What I recommend in my area is blacktop. My dad has been a mason for 70 years, and he's got blacktop. Me, I got modified, and I don't recommend concrete driveways. But if you do pour them, I, re I recommend you go six to seven inches thick. And it's just like a railroad track. It has to sit on gravel so the water goes underneath it and it won't be bouncing it up in the winter. Our winters kill concrete. I poured 4,000 pound PSI and we added fiberglass. And what happens with concrete is it has to be able to move. If you try to put rebar in it and everything into the sides of the house, that's where you're gonna get your cracks. New school way is to saw things. What I like to do is, if I do saw it, or if I do use 
form a key. I like to make it where it's every six feet at least because concrete in our area, our frost could go six feet down and it bubbles up and it could crack it. <clears throat> uh, I was talking to this company, Formakey, and they're out of Kentucky. And I really like their products, and if you've ever seen me, I'm using it all the time. Because you can pour one section, and it locks in this side, and it locks in that side, and you're not going to be getting that up and down movement. They sell a lot of products with it. This is what kind of splices it together. It goes up in there. Uh, the pegs are good. I also use them for forming these pegs. These are great. They fit up inside really good and then they have these little clips too that could go under here. But the way I like to do it is I like to put concrete underneath it or a little bit of cement to hold them all together. They come in different sizes like this is for 4 inch. They have caps that actually kind of go over the top. If you want to uh, leave this in here, it's like a, a sealant. It slides over the top like that. Or they even got this black one. That let's say you're going to pour your uh, right over the form key, and that's in there. Then after it's in there, you could pull it off, and that leaves that void where you could cock it. A lot of different stuff. I'm going to. Uh, Put the name of the company, they're from Kentucky, they sell to certain distributors or they'll sell to your uh, masonry supply company in your area. So I'm going to put the phone numbers down in the bottom and where they were and if, uh, if you talk to them just tell them Mike Haddock sent you. So that's it for driveways. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of pouring concrete driveways in northeastern Pennsylvania, but people do want them. and. I don't recommend them, but sometimes I do help. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until the next video.